Ever wonder how to close nearly a deal a day in real estate investing? Click the challenge button throughout this video and subscribe to my free 30-day video series, How I Close Thousands of Deals. Opinion, the absolutely number one key to success, beyond just being average, beyond being somebody who's not doing deals, beyond somebody who just attends these <laughs> seminars week after week, listens to webinars, hoping for that that one golden nugget, in my opinion, the absolute key to this is you absolutely need to learn how to dominate something in this business. You have to learn how to dominate. And I don't mean dominate every single thing you do. Even in my wholesale model, although it's not a complicated model that I'm going to go over here in a couple minutes, it, it's got a number of components in it. A retail model has got a number of components in it. A buy and hold model house model, land model, they all have a number of com components. I will absolutely stake my career in this business and to tell you this, if you dominate one thing, just one thing out of all of those things, and I don't mean like the whole wholesale model, I mean literally just one component, and when I say dominate, you do it better than anyone else in the country. And for those of you that have been inside my company, have seen my offices, I will tell you I do what I do better than anyone else in the country. I appreciate the kind words of being the biggest in Georgia. I'm telling you, there's no one in the country that does what I do to the level I do it, makes as much money as I make, and there's one thing I dominate it, and that is this marketing. Now, I'm not saying you have to be good at marketing, but I'm saying if you come out of this day-to-day -day with one decision, I'm going to pick one facet of this business, everything they taught me here today, and I'm sure there's a bunch of things that you guys are being taught, if you say, if you focus on one aspect of this business and absolutely dominate it beyond anything that you have ever done, beyond any of your competition, beyond anyone else that does it, I will tell you that is, in my opinion, the key to you being where you are, I don't care where you are, and tenfold it, a hundredfold it, a thousandfold it. See, when people come into my company and I have 15 employees that work for me, i got offices here, i got offices in Florida, I've done deals in Nevada, I've done deals in Los Angeles, I've done deals in, in uh, Myrtle Beach, in, in Charleston. i got operations all over the place. But when anyone walks into my office, what they are absolutely beyond shocked and impressed and overwhelmed with is the marketing machine I have. When you walk into my office and you talk to my employees, almost every single employee is focused on one thing, marketing. Not selling deals, not buying deals, not renovating deals, not rezoning deals, not doing houses, not doing apartments, not fixing things. Almost every single person involved in my organization, whether it's right out of here in my office in Atlanta, out of my operations out of Florida, when you talk to anyone there, have a five-minute conversation with them, 90% of that conversation will be tied into marketing, 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 marketing. A long time ago, I realized that if I dominate one aspect in this business, for me, it became marketing. I knew if I could dominate one thing better than anyone else, that'll take me from where I was in this business to where I am now, and way, way beyond. Again, do not get, this is not a thing about marketing. I'm not saying marketing has to be it for you. You could pick a silly thing as mastering the bandit signs. See, I built this business off bandit signs. There's guys still here that are veterans in this business that are utilizing bandit signs. If you figure out how to absolutely dominate the bandit sign strategy beyond anyone else, I don't mean driving your car aimlessly, throw some signs out just for them to be picked up. I mean become a world-class expert in it. I can tell you you can make a ton of money in this business. Any aspect. You become an, an unbelievable negotiator. You become an unbelievable bird dog. You become an unbelievable contractor. Whatever it is, pick one thing and focus on that one thing. Because here's what happens when you dominate one thing. You inevitably start getting good at other things. See, by me dominating marketing and everybody, I mean, I have home investors in my office begging for us to introduce marketing into the whole operation. When I dominated marketing, when I dominate, in my office, just out of my Atlanta office, just out, let me show you what domination means, just out of my Atlanta office to do the deals I do in Atlanta, 
I get upwards of a thousand seller calls a day just out of Atlanta. That's domination. There's no one in the country that could claim that. Doesn't include any other other markets. That's just here in Atlanta, a thousand sellers a day, up to a thousand sellers a day call my office looking to sell their deals to me or sell their properties to me. And I don't mean bird dogs, I don't mean realtors, I'm talking about homeowners. That is a dominating thing. So here's what happens when you dominate something. It's because I dominate marketing, I'm able to do sometimes as many as 10 deals on a daily basis. I mean on a weekly basis. I did three yesterday. My office did three yesterday. It's because I dominate marketing that I'm able to go into different markets, right? Because when I wanted to go to Florida, what did I bring to the table? Marketing, right? How hard was it for me to assemble the top of the line sales team to sell my deals? What? What do sales guys want? Deals. So when I dominate marketing, I use that as leverage to do whatever else I want to do. When I wanted to do condo conversions here in Atlanta market, what did I dominate? Marketing, right? So who found the best condo conversion deals? I did. When I got into rezoning land, what got me into it? Dominating marketing. When I was doing mobile homes, what got me into it? Dominating marketing. So I know I'm not here to discuss this, but I will tell you, if you leave it nothing else here tonight except today, except with this one thing, dominate something. Don't try to do everything. Don't do 30 different things. Pick one aspect of this business, no matter how little or how big or how in between it is. And I challenge you to absolutely become a world-class expert. Because when you do, the other things will follow. People will gravitate towards you. All the pieces that you're missing. When I dominate marketing, everything that I'm missing, people gravitate towards me. So things I'm not good at, that's okay. Because I'm good at this. And that's why that guy says, okay. Let's do some things together. You see how that works? There's people sitting here in this room. I guarantee you without a shadow of doubt, you've been to more seminars I've been to. You've listened to more webinars that I've listened to. You've attended more meetings that I've listened to, been to. You're more educated than I am in this business than I am. You know more about this thing than I do. It's worthless. Because I'm better than anyone here at one thing. So that's my little tidbit. Now having said that, the real reason I'm here, <laughs> the real reason I'm here is that um, um, Roman asked me to talk about the wholesaling. I guess you guys in this weekend are doing a number of different things. So like I said before, what I decided to do is I'm going to lay out my model. There's nothing I'm going to tell you that you guys don't already know. There's nothing I do in my office that you guys have not already studied or already realize you need to be doing, or some of you are doing it to a level, just not to a high enough level. I'm just going to draw it out. I'm going to give you some tidbits. I'm going to give you a very top-down overview of what my wholesale model looks like. But my model basically consists of four parts. I think if you're a wholesaler, you need to have all of these. Number one, where does it start? Marketing, right? That's the first part, and I'll kind of dive into these or dwell into these in a minute. Number one, marketing. Second part of my wholesale model actually is not a wholesale piece. It's extracting the very best deals that come in out of my marketing and do something with them. That's my second part of the model. So anytime somebody physically touches, so anytime I touch a deal, anytime I touch a deal, that's the second part. That's called extraction. Cherry picking the best ones for yourself. That could be a buy, fix, and sell that Ramon does. Could be a rental property. Could be a creative deal like a lease option. Again, anytime something's touched, that's extracting the top. Third part of the model is the wholesaling. Take the wholesaling piece, I mean take the rest of the good deals that are coming in and wholesaling to investors all over the world. Between the wholesaling piece and the cherry picking, the extraction piece, 
It's not uncommon for me to do as many as 10 deals on a weekly basis. Well, that's an impressive number. What's the most impressive number is I, I, it takes me about 20 minutes a day to do the whole thing. I'm a huge systems guy. It's all about automation in this business. If you're sitting here and you're doing deals and you're working harder than you ever had before, chances are you have not figured out how to set this thing up the right way. Got to know how to leverage in this business. Got to know the system. Everything I do is systematized, automated. You know, 20 minutes a day, that's a, that's a big day for me. But then there's a fourth part of my model. What we do is we take the rest of the deals that are coming in, opportunities, because remember, we generate a lot of leads, right? Because we have such intense marketing, and if you dominate one thing, you could then do other things, right? So you could imagine how many leftover leads we have. What we do is we move them to local realtors, they convert them into regular retail listings, and when they sell, I make commission that way. Just with one agent alone, she has over 100 of my listings right now. Imagine a 30% commission when just one agent has 100 of your listings. So that's the four-part model. Marketing, extraction, wholesaling, retailing. Okay? So let me kind of give you a, kind of a, some, some, some parts of, the, of these four parts and, and how I would do them and, and, and what would I would do if I were your, in your all's shoes. By the way, all these things, I've done them all myself. I'm not above doing anything I'm about ready to tell you. But when you get to a certain level, right, first you got to make the money in this business, then you got to create a lifestyle, right? So when you're in a lifestyle side of this business, right? when you're in a lifestyle side of this business, other people do it for you. Many of you here are not there yet. Many of you are still in a making money mode. That's fine. When you're in a making money mode, you got to do it all, right? So let's talk about marketing. A couple of marketing strategies, techniques. Number one, I know Ramon will agree with me, direct mail. Nothing touches, nothing rivals direct mail. If you ain't doing direct mail, let's put it this way. If you have any money to do direct mail and you're not doing it, you're wasting your time, I think. And let me tell you why. This is, this is what you guys have to understand. This is the, there's two ways to market in this business. There's the paid and there's the free, right? Do you guys know what the difference between the paid and the free is? One difference. Paid speeds things up. That's what it does. Is it possible to find leads and do deals freeways? And I'm going to get on a couple freeways in a minute. Absolutely. But what, when you get onto the paid side of marketing, you shorten your curve from A, where you are now, to Z, making money. That's all marketing does. That's what paid marketing does. It speeds things up. It's a lot more controlled way of doing things, right? Because I'm controlling how much money I'm putting in, right? If I put 100 bucks in, I know kind of the results I'm going to get. If I put 50 grand in, I know the kind of results I'm getting. So the other good thing about the paid side marketing is that you control it. Free side is not as easy to control because many times it's the, determined by other people, events, properties, and all that. So again, if you have any money whatsoever for marketing, put it into direct mail. And um, just rattle them off. You use list source to get them, right? Core logic to buy it. You use click to mail to send it. You use Bumber for your distinct number on the phone on the on the postcard. Let me give you another tip. Here's how you double how much money you make through direct mail without spending one single penny. What's the industry norm in this business when people are doing direct mail? Call comes in, goes to voicemail, you call the person back, right? Here's how you double your money. Do not let that phone ever hit voicemail. Pick them up live. I'm in a live environment. They've got a thousand calls a day. I have people picking them up live, 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 live. People on, people on my staff from 8 in the morning, 8 at night. Picking up phones, picking up phones, picking up phones. So if you're doing any direct mail and if they're going to voicemail, or if you're missing call, throw the money out the door. You've got to go into a live environment if you do direct mail. Pick it up yourself. And don't you ever think about getting anything like a answering service. Might as well just donate money to Goodwill. <laughs> don't you ever think about going to VA overseas. Same thing. Total waste of money, time, and effort. They will destroy your business. Answering services will destroy your business. VAs overseas will destroy your business. If somebody doesn't speak like you, picks up the phone... People know it, right? 
I mean, we're living in a world, we, we're in a globalized environment. People know when they're calling in view, right? I don't care how, what his name is, John or Bob. Right? So, so you pick up the call. When you get to my level, you have somebody else pick up the call. That's why you use Bumber because it's a distinct number that you stick in a postcard so you know when that number rings. I don't care who you're talking to, you're switching over, right? Hey, you guys know what we do here. We do a ton of deals and, and I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I coach people just like you to help become very, very successful real estate investors. So if you're a buyer or you know other buyers literally all over the world that are looking for deals in a Georgia market specifically concentrated towards Atlanta, you need to be on our buyers list. By now you'll see my email scrolling across the screen. Send me an email, just say add me to the buyers list. And on a daily basis, you're gonna get some terrific both ROI and equity driven deals uh, emailed right directly to you. The other thing, if you're looking to become a successful investor, whether you're brand new, just getting started, or whether you're doing it already and you're looking to be a, a bigger, more sophisticated, more savvy investor, I know I could help you do that. Again, you could either send me an email to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, or better yet, right below this video, coachingbypeter.com. You can go straight there and learn more about how I could help you become very successful in this industry.